Hello, my name is Bobby, and I am a big fan of the, sec the game, second season football. And I have made, I don't know what you call it. Do you call it an Excel helper, uh, an Excel score sheet? It, it, it automates some things. A lot of things are manual, though. And I thought I would show you what it is and how to set it up. This is the introduction video. I'll introduce it. I'll show you how I set it up. I realize 90% of what I do, you're not going to need to do. Okay, just be completely honest with you. But I do it because, well, it's what I want to do. First off, I've got an instruction sheet. Honestly, I've got to rewrite this. It does come with its own dice roller. Now, if you use the dice roller, I highly, rec highly, highly recommend you go over here to calculate options, put it on manual. So you'll hit F9 to reroll the dice. Otherwise, anytime you do anything, you'll be changing the dice values. Now, one of the issues is if you have it on manual, um, manual calculation is when you're over here entering your running backs running totals it will not total for you yes this thing will do your stats for you okay but uh so i have a dice roller i honestly don't use that i use ball stat more often i have my main sheet uh honestly i have room down here to put in your own uh, possession charts. Honestly, I don't use it. I have a room over here where you can take the stats from the team you've done and you have to do it manually right now and put them over here. Kind of have one big sheet where you have the game stats, you know, and, and team stats and then the individual stats. Eventually, I would love to get it where this would be automatically populated by what's put on this sheet. But I I know a little bit about Excel, and I have to figure out, okay, how do I do that where the person who is going to be using this knows what's going on? I then have a sheet here. This is the main sheet where you will spend most of your time. Okay. And it is a play-by-play -play sheet. I, I put these boxes here because these boxes are the same size as this. So what I do, let's say I've got a game. The Buccaneers had Tom Brady. I'll put Tom Brady's name right there. And then every time I need it, Right click, copy, paste. Okay, and I'll, and I'll, uh, I may go through a quick rundown of how this works in this introduction, but honest with you, I will probably uh, save most of that for a uh, part two where I will show you uh, exactly how this whole thing works. And then I have this sheet, which you should never see. In fact, I'm going to hide it right now. And it's where a lot of the background formula information is at. So what do I do? Well, first thing, I go to the main page here. And now I know the teams I'm wanting to play. Um, in fact, I've got a, I, I had the teams I was going to play where they at here. I've decided I wasn't going to do that game. I'm working on a project. It's over at the Delphi forums. You can go see it yourself. Called the all, I'm calling it the all-time team tourney. And what it is, you take the highest SRS value from any from each franchise, and they get into the tournament. So what I did here, I like when I do football. Okay, I like using um, pictures. 
or the helmets. I don't like logos. Every other game, you use logos. This is the one game you can use a piece of equipment, and there's nothing else like a football helmet to say this is a football game. So I go here. And go here, yes, this is my real voice, whatever, don't make fun of me. Well, you can, I don't really care. Uh, Bengals. Because I've got uh, the number 14 AFC Bengals from, where did my, oh. Let's see, what year are they? 2015. Okay, that don't look right. Yep, and something got switched on me. 2015. Bingles. Then I right click this helmet, change picture, and they're facing the, this is wall, the 1961 Oilers. There they are. I had to wait for my. They are going to be the number three seed. Okay, and and you can see now this will automatically populate. You can see right here. It will add up for you, including if you're going over time. That box will add up for you. This will not, this, you know, if you want to try rearranging it, fine. You want to rearrange that, fine. Now, here's the next thing I do. Um, I like using team colors. I really do. So I have a, I go to a certain website. And I should have got this information before I started. Can I show you this? Yeah, I can show you that. Okay. That's for uh oh. Well, that was interesting. There we go. Uh, game, sports reference, oh, your, this website right here, it is, I admit, very slow on the load up. I don't know why it takes so long, but this is, has just about everything you'd want. I use it consistently, but it, and, and it, it has like, well, look, right here. It's already talking about, you know, we're going to look at the Cincinnati Bengals. Interesting story founded by Paul Brown, who was famous for being with the, uh, hmm, now I always have the Palma. Well, what colors do I use? Well, we're going to use this color right here. They are the visiting team. Okay. I think I'm doing all this and my computer is saying, hey, you're doing too much. Come back to me. Well, I'm going to pause the video here. All right, we're back. Now am I recording this? All right, we're back. I'm hoping you can see me. So I got my caller right here. I'll just copy that and I'll go up here to feel under home. More callers, custom, paste, and there we go. And then, since I know they use black, I'll make the font 
be black and need to change who they are. 20, oops, 2015 Bengals. And there you go. And just like that, now for the Houston orders. See, I wonder if they're under the Titans. Nope, 99 to present, so they. I don't think they're under Houston orders. They're 70 through 96. Houston Texans. Tennessee Titans. Pause in the video. All right, hopefully you can see now. This is weird. It's doing some funky stuff to me here. But we're going to keep going as I look for the Houston Oilers. On the 60s. Ah, you know what that'll be? It's going to be under the American Football League. Yeah, they divide them up. And not, they, technically, they're right. Because, you know, technically, 61 is awfully early. And again, and... I don't think they had much red. Um, more colors. And this is something you gotta worry about. It whatever do it'll put in a space where there wasn't one needed. Or they have an asterisk right there. And what that asterisk by the on that website means is it's an approximated value. They really don't know. And then we'll go up here. We're going to leave them white. And it's the 1961 Oilers. And now, now, if you want, you can mess around and do things. I just come up here because it will remember the colors you choose. You don't even have to change the white. I usually use Team Cities, but this is more about the franchise than the city. And, and then, of course, if you're going to use this, you have to do it over here too, but it's, it's, it's really, you know, at this point, you're just type a button and you're done, really. And then here too. It's under home. And, and there you go. Now, do it on home stats. And, and like I said, a lot, all this, you don't have to do. You do not have to do any of this. This is just because I like, you know, it, a little bit of, you can call it immersion. Adds a little bit of color to it. Doesn't make it so cut and dried. And then, now we get to our main sheet, or our, our main working sheet. Again, click the picture, change picture. You, know, you, you have to go get your own helmets. I use, uh, it's called the Helmet Project.
There's the Bengals at the 61 Oilers. Again, and you'll notice these are going to be the same things I use to show the team what team has the ball. And then we'll go here. And now here, this is simple. Copy, copy, paste is your friend. Okay. Now, what I also do is I go up here. I look at the teams, I look at the teams sheets and I'm going to do that real quick here. Um, let's see here, we got the 2015 Bengals. Okay, 2015 Bengals. Team defense is a minus one. It's Y plus is a plus one. It's offense is a minus one. Okay, and I don't know what they're going to be yet, so we're going to delete that. Now for the Oilers. In fact, I better print that out while I'm here. I I have my team sheets printed. I I I found I can go quicker. I wasn't for a while, but I not I can go quicker if they're printed out and I'm looking at a physical copy. Some of the writing gets all small for me. Now the 61 orders is a home boo, but from somebody I trust. The defense is a play called a minus two. Now that's gonna affect things. Uh, no Y rating, so they will not get more any more interceptions. Looks like their offense is heavily favored for the run, but it doesn't show that. Hang on here. No, the pass. Holy cow! They got a sixteen point five. They, they, they're going to, they, they should, hopefully for their love's sake, they'll try passing more. So, minus one, minus, plus minus two is a minus three. Um, can't remember what minus, I think that's passing. Always forget that part. Minus three, pass. And I have a, uh, so they are going to be a heavy pass team. And I put the minus three up there because I use alternate rules that changes. It's, it's, it, for these guys, they'll use the normal chart and the probable pass chart. They'll use probable run sparingly. And on an audible, they will re-roll on the probable pass chart and then they'll only go to an audible if they roll it again and we will change this while I'm here and it shows what side of the field the ball is on and I don't even know if this is right because I don't know who's kicking off yet. Talking and forgetting what I'm doing. But there you go. These guys are going to be a uh, 
So your offense is zero, defense, they're going to be neutral, negative one. So, so the Bengals should be throwing the ball right and left versus the Oilers. Who, who knows what they're going to do. And, and now, now if I want, and I, I normally don't, but what I do is I could go through the orders and put some of the order players on here so they're ready to go. And same things for the stats. For And I'll show you how I do that. In fact, well, I guess I can show you right now. So here's the team. So, like, look at a quarterback. I put the quarterback's name there, last name, first initial. And then, so let's say he throws a seven-yard pass. Two incompletions, oops, one per block. And then he throws an interception. Now you notice the interception, and he throws an eight-yard touchdown pass. Now, it will add, the interception counts as an attempt to pass, but it will not populate down here. Sacks do not go in here. Just yardage, incompletion, interceptions. It calculates it for it for you automatically. Place for backup. Running back. In fact, while I'm here, let's say this. Uh, alignment. I want to make sure I'm on. I push everything over. So it's like the uh, Brown, you know. So I got T Brown in here. He runs for three. He runs for five. He loses two. He gets off a 37, 37 yard run. And he runs for 12. And you see it automatically upset over here. I put fumbles and touchdowns over there. You can put whatever notes you want. And so that's how these this old column right here works. Now, one thing I like to do, I got T Brown here. I know his totals. Right click, copy, paste. Copy, paste is your friend. Receiving is works the same way. T, well, T Brown, T Brown caught a pass for eight, then he caught a pass for zero, and then 22. And you can see it adds it all up for you. And if you add these up, they should equal that. And you can check and make sure you got it passing right. But wait, there's more. Power returners, same thing. Again, room for some notes. Pick returners, same thing. Punting. Uh, this will average it out for you, but you'll notice it won't tell you it was inside 20. You have to do that yourself. Same thing for the field goals. Want to make sure they're aligned. Okay, and then, okay, now, here's where I have a place for defensive interception, sacks, and fumbles. Now, you'll see it how I do it when I show you how I do my play-by-play. -play. But I keep track of first downs and third downs. So we're going to go to our, let's go back to our, let's go to waste stats right here. So let's say they got a first down by the run. First down, then they got two first downs by the pass. Then they got a first down by the penalty. As you can see, it does it automatically for you. R, P, and T. Run pass and T for penalty. Now, they had a third down, they made it. They had a third down, they made it. They had a third down, they did not make it. There you go. And this is where I keep track of fumbles lost, penalty yards. I have a place for, they do some fourth down conversion thingies. 
And there you go. That 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 that's pretty much an introduction. It's it right now. I am set up. I am ready to play. Uh, and you'll notice now I don't have second, third, and fourth quarters. That's because what I do is as I fill this in, I'm going to be filling this in. And I will right click, move or copy, create a copy, I'll move it to the end. And then right click, rename, second quarter. And I have my second quarter, and I will go in and delete everything off this quarter. I'll show you how to do that. And then I still have this information all set up. I, I don't have to retype this information and I'm ready to go. Let me, uh, I'm going to delete that. I'm going to save my file. This is going to be save it. I'm going to save it as this is 6.5a. And next up, I will make, this is the end of part one, the introduction and setup. Part two, I'm going to play some and show you how I do the play-by-play. -play. 